Hi, this is Heidi Casper here for WordPress 101 for Boomers. And I've been using on um, this uh, WordPress 101 for Boomers site, I've been using a theme called Weaver. And you can find this by searching in the back. And it lets you customize things. I added my own custom logo, changed the colors here, and made it basically to work, look like I wanted to. Now, they've come out with a newer one called Weaver 2. And I'm going to, over the next few days, walk you through setting that up. I'm going to set this up on a, a newer site that I've not really uh, customized or set up yet. And I'm going to walk you through, and you can see how I do that. And the first thing that we're going to talk about here is the sub-themes. Now, if you haven't got Weaver 2 already on your site, or you want to know how, um, soon they'll have the Weaver on the WordPress.org. It's ready for approval soon. If you search for Weaver 2 and you don't find it, you can go click over here on Weaver 2's site, and you can download it there, and you can upload it inside back of WordPress if you want the whole folder. And this video here will show you how to do that. If you are looking for a new theme for your site, maybe you got one of the basic ones like 2010, 2011, and they got a whole bunch of white space and the content doesn't start till down here, and you want to have an easy way to uh, go in and customize your theme, and do different things with it, I would suggest you go ahead and go with Weaver 2, the newer one that they have out. Okay, I am back here in the admin, and under Parents, you open that up, and you can see the different things here, and um, you want to go ahead and click into the Weaver 2 admin. And when you click into the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see all these different types of themes here. And it's kind of like you've got one theme, but it's really several themes in one. And so you can go through and pick what you want to use. Um, like the antique ivory one is right here. This is how it would look like on my site. And some things you want to look at on a site is, is, is the colors. Don't worry about what's here because you can switch out the header and what's showing up in there. Um, we're going to go on into that tomorrow. Um, don't worry about the... Uh, if you do want to look things about the general colors, you can change the background and things, but if you check at the general colors and get things closer to what you want, you don't have to change the same thing. And you can look at the colors right here. Uh, you can look at where the sidebars fit, whether on this side or this side, how much space, how wide this whole thing here is. Those are some of the things you want to look at when you choose a theme. This is the black and white sub things. Now, the black and white sub things. They look really good. If you have some really cool photos and you want a photography uh, blog and it's just mainly images, like the camera show up well there, you know, black works good for that. But as far as reading and just content and things, then uh, the darker ones are harder on the eyes to stay on it and read. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go in and let you change your theme. Uh, pick one that you want. Like I said, there's a difference as to how wide the sidebars are, where the sidebars are at. Um, here's one on each side. Just go ahead. This is like a magazine thing. Uh, you click on them down here. It's not going to show up. you got to go up here. And you got to go down and find the one that you want and click set to it. Now with the magazine style theme they have here, it puts a, two different, uh, it puts different posts up here along the, on the home page. And that way it will show a couple of them. And um, like I said, it's, it's got different things here that you can change what you want. And um, so try it. What I like to do is I like to go in and try different ones. And then I just, uh, let me show you. Okay, this one appears different. So it goes all the way up, the sidebar goes all the way up to the top instead of down below it. And so um, let's go ahead and switch to that. It was called Ivory Drive. But I'm going to go right up here. And I'm going to right click so I can open it in a new tab. And if I do several of that, then I can go back and forth and look at the different themes and compare them and see which one I really want to use on my site. And then when I have them side by side, I can just flip back and forth and see which one I want. And like on this ivory drive one, it's not showing it going all the way up to the top here in this particular one. So that must be one of the settings that you use. Anyway, we'll get back with this tomorrow. I'll uh, show you how to change the headers and the background images. Uh, Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers.